Hi, Arnold. <laughs> Welcome to Atlanta, clearly. Uh, mm -hmm. what, for you, I mean, how would you describe how you rush the passer? I think I'm, I'm I'm someone who has a high IQ when it comes down to rushing the passer, uh, understanding what the alignment is going to do and having counter of my main move. I think I'm pretty versatile on how I attack any pass reset. What, was, is there, was there a guy growing up that you kind of modeled your game after or was there anyone that you kind of watched even in college that you took stuff from? Uh, I saw one of different guys, uh, guys like Vaughn Miller, TJ Watt, uh, Nick Bosa, just trying to implement implement uh, different things, aspects of your game. So I'm a student of the game, so anything that I can see and add into mine, I'm always open to do so. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, do you relate a lot better, AJC? Uh, yeah, Arno, um, uh, what, uh, what makes you a fit for a 3 4 defensive scheme? I said my versatility. Someone that can do a little bit of everything. Hey, and I discussed uh, coming to the game late, uh, um, you know, after you all moved on from Cameroon, and I guess you tried some soccer and basketball, and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, how'd you take the football? And, and uh, give us the origin of that story there. Well, I've been an athlete my whole life, so for me it was just a matter of, uh, keep doing what I've been doing and just learning the game a little bit more. So uh, having the combination of both, I think that's what made me the player I am today. All right, Josh Kendall, The Athletic. Hey, hey Aaron, congratulations. Um, um, oh, to follow up kind of on what D-Led was asking you, at what point did you start to realize or to think that you could make a career out of football? When did you sort of take that step and reach a level where you thought this might turn out to be something? Uh, I think that was, that was at some point uh, when I was back at Temple, and uh, I actually told myself that if I I would I apply myself and actually put some more work into uh, in developing my craft, uh, I could potentially make it to the NFL. Was that part of your decision to transfer to Penn State, maybe to get on a bigger stage to get noticed? Yeah, at some point, yeah, I was. If you want to call yourself the best, you want to go against the best in college football. So making that transition for me uh, was a big part of it. I wanted to test my skill set against other people, and I would also want to be the best player I possibly could. Thank you, all. Congrats. Charles, Charles Odom, the athletic, or I'm sorry, Associated Press. Hey, thanks for doing this. Can you uh, can you say what, uh, what what interest the Falcons had expressed to you during the during the draft process? Um, I, I talked to the Falcons a couple of times. Um, we went over film, and it was mainly about uh, what I can add to the defense and how they can use my versatility on, on the field. All right, we'll go to Kelly Price, Fox 5. Hey Arnold, congratulations and welcome to Atlanta. Um, Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. I, I wanted to ask what it was just like that moment where you got that call that you were being drafted by the Falcons. Special, special. You know, that's something that you think about. You're trying to uh, uh, go over it in your head, trying to figure out how you're going to feel in that particular moment. But the truth is, you don't really know till you get that call. I mean, it, it's special. Can't put words into it. And then I noticed on your Twitter and your Instagram, you have doctor in front of your name. I was just curious what was the, the story there or why you put doctor in front of your name. I'm a doctor password. Simple. All right, we'll go to uh, Jeff Schultz with The Athletic. I, I have to ask the follow-up to that. Did you, <laughs> did you give yourself that nickname or, or did somebody give it to you? And if so, how long ago? Uh -huh. I say I give myself a nickname. A lot of people ask me why I call myself a doctor. I don't know why, but I believe I'm a doctor, pastor, so I'm just going to stick with it for a little, little while. Um, and, and the other thing is you're, you're coming to a team that certainly in recent history has had, has had problems getting to, getting to the quarterback. What is it about your game and attitude that makes you believe that you can change that here and, and be impactful in the NFL? Uh, I say I say my approach, uh, my ability. Uh, I believe I, I have what it takes to to get to the league and, and be a dominant player. So um, I'm ready to get in, put the work in, and and I'm looking forward to it. Can I ask you too? Who did you speak to from the Falcons? Who have you, who did you meet with? Uh, 
I met with a lot of coaches. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure right now. It's been a minute, so I can't pinpoint who specifically I had a conversation with. Yeah, thank you. We got time for just a couple more. Uh, Michael Rothstein, do you have any follow ups? Yeah, since we're hitting on all the social media stuff, uh, A7 Chronic, what's that? You know, A7 is kind of my nickname, and, and the Chronic, it comes from the Chronicles, so it means like a book of A7, so my book, pretty much. Okay. And what's the first, like, you know, draft picks versus a buy stuff, or they have plans with, like, what they're going to do when they sign that? Like, do you have any plans of anything? Like, is, have you had conversations about that? I, I haven't thought about it, honestly. Appreciate it. Jar Jarvis Davis. Hey, Arnold, how you doing, man? Congratulations, bro. Hey, appreciate that. All right, man. So um, I was down at Senior Bowl, man, and I noticed uh, like maybe doing like the one-on-ones and like team periods, you and uh, your teammate Jesse were, you know, kind of conversing, kind of going back and forth, man. Um, yeah. Can you talk about your experience down at the Senior Bowl and kind of like what, uh, how, how is it? Was it having one of your teammates down there, kind of, I guess, to bounce stuff off of and kind of figure things out yeah. while you're down there? Yeah. So Jesse, he, he's my brother. You know, having someone that you close with at the senior bowl, uh, we were able to like uh, have different conversations. Maybe some of the things that I saw from different alumni or that he saw from, from the uh, different alumni as well. Just bouncing back idea from each other. It always help you. Uh, as you are pushing those uh, one on one in the senior bowl, and also, man, do, do, do you feel any pressure? Like, like I said, the team had 18 sacks as a team last year, and you know, um, like I said, they struggled to you know to um, be able to rush the pass on a consistent basis. Like, do you feel any pressure coming in, being a second round pick, and saying, "Hey, this is the guy who's gonna get to get get home"? I mean, pressure is privilege. I mean, I'm taking it as a challenge, and I'm ready to go. All right, we got time for one more. Uh, D. Orlando love better. Uh, yeah, uh, Arnold, um, um, did they talk to you or discuss, you know, Shaka Tony and uh, the lineage there, Michael Parsons and the guys have been putting out and, uh, did, you know, they kind of teach you, try to teach you some of the things those guys did at Penn State and what, and what part of the DMV are you in? Um, I'm in Silver Spring Mountain. Okay. Georgia yeah. Avenue, baby. Yeah, right there. You know about yeah. it, huh? Yeah, yeah. H-U. <laughs> But the Penn State lineage at that position, you know, talk to you folks. Yeah, you know, uh, we talk about Penn State and some of the things that they do, especially on the defensive line. Uh, you pretty much want to carry that when you go to Penn State and leave Penn State. They kind of carry uh, that line of great uh, defensive player in the NFL. So uh, I definitely plan on following those footsteps. Uh, the ones that Michael Parson and Odafe always took. So uh, I'm trying to get in the league and be a productive player as well. Thank you.